Hi, this is Mike Henriksen at Strata 2014 in Santa Clara. I'm here with Boyd Davis. Boyd, how you doing? Great. So you're with Intel in the Big Data Group, right? Yes. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about what you guys are up to right now with your Big Data and your Big Data platform? Well, yeah, just today here at Strata, we yeah. announced uh, the Intel Data Platform. Uh, about a year ago at Strata, we announced the Intel distribution of Hadoop, but uh, like a lot of the, the providers in this space, we've gone well beyond Hadoop uh, to incorporate other Apache projects like Spark and Shark and Storm and Kafka, uh, and even our own graph analytics capabilities we built out of our lab. So we built a complete data platform, and uh, we announced it today, and it will ship in the next quarter. And so you guys have intentionally kind of chosen an open architecture and an open platform and open source technologies? Is Absolutely. Um, you know, our, our passion, the reason we're in this business is because we think the market is at a crossroads. There are forces that are pushing uh, the, the Hadoop-derived platform to look maybe more like Unix, a fragmented, uh, expensive, maybe more capable in certain instances market uh, that doesn't grow as fast. And we believe openness, multi-vendor, interoperability, but with those enterprise capabilities, performance, and features uh, to deliver better business value will drive much more rapid growth. And that growth is central to our core data center business, which is a $12 billion business. And so part of that growth is going to come through democratization of platforms and of services and tools. Is that something that's important to you guys as well? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, uh, today with our Intel data platform, we announced an enterprise edition that's got the full management capabilities, the full security capabilities, all of the Apache projects, not just certain of them, all into a platform that will be freely available. Customers can download it and run it, and it's not a watered down version, because we want to accelerate the growth of the market. Uh, and if people can get ac access to this platform, then in-house developers, independent developers can start to build applications that build value. So we're huge believers that this big data capability uh, should be accessible to everyone at lower cost points with easier to use kind of capabilities so that the market grows. Well that, that ties in nicely to your Edison, Galileo and Quark efforts as well where machine to machine data and data from smaller wearable devices and devices that are made are going to start being proliferated around and you guys have some low entries there as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, we have kind of an unmatched set of assets really in the domain of the Internet of Things. Uh, you mentioned Quark and, and our other low-end platforms. We're driving the capabilities of intelligence to ever lower price points. Uh, so now we can scale from really, really inexpensive edge devices and sensors all the way up uh, to the world's fastest supercomputers are built on Intel chips. Uh, and that capability combined uh, with a capability that we developed last year around APIs. Mm -hmm. uh, we purchased two companies, Mashery and Apona, great companies, innovators and leaders in their space to glue it together. So now we have the big data analytics, we have unmatched capabilities on the edge, and we've got the API management infrastructure to glue them together. Uh, and the combination that we believe can take Internet of Things solutions from uh, custom, bespoke, highly uh, expensive yeah, uh, projects yeah. to to projects that are much more standard, standard interfaces, much more turnkey to accelerate growth, growth in that market as well. So where do you see your Intel data platform going next year? If we were to have this conversation next year, uh, what would we be talking about, hopefully, next year for you guys? Well, I, I think the thing I'm most excited about is we have now <clears throat> built a foundation and recruited an ecosystem that we highlighted today of dozens of companies that are now building solutions on top of that solid foundation. Okay, yep. We don't aspire to be the solution provider. We know that the solutions from an ecosystem, a broad and diverse ecosystem, are more than any one company can provide. So a year from now, what I hope to be able to sit here talking about is hundreds of solutions covering every vertical domain, yep. every uh, application domain, so that customers can get better value. You know, not every organization is going to be able to hire their own team of developers and data scientists. The packaged applications, I believe, will bring this technology to uh, customers that don't have the luxury of hiring their own teams. So, last question for you, Boyd, and this one, it can be a personal answer or it can be a collective Intel answer or whatever, however you want to answer it. But if there was one problem in the world that we could solve by using data, what would that be? Oh, I don't think there's anything more motivating for me personally than uh, the application of big data to uh, the, the world's uh, healthcare challenges. Yep. Um, and I wouldn't want to narrow it down. We're, do, we're doing some work uh, with our former CEO, uh, Andy Grove, has a foundation with Michael J. Fox around Parkinson's. Yep. We're doing some big data solutions to address uh, that, that horrible disease. 
uh, we have the opportunity to uh, put in the hands of healthcare providers uh, data and intelligence that is unmatched to try to enrich the lives of people. Uh, you know, Intel's mission statement is to enrich the lives, of, use technology to enrich the lives of every person on the planet. And that doesn't mean everybody gets a two-in-one core-based PC. It, it means that we're going to take technology to solve the challenges of healthcare and energy and, and make the world a better place. And, and I think those are the things that they get you pretty motivated when you wake up in the morning. Excellent, Boyd. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. That was excellent.